Made Wiyante was born in the village of Apuan, Tabanan, Bali. He is the youngest of 10 children. Wiyante grew up in a musical and artistic household. He is an artist with strong sense of environmental awareness and social responsibility. As an appreciation for the breadth of his creativity and the depth of his social and environmental awareness, Wiyanta has been awarded the Dharma Kusuma Award by the Bali Provincial Government in 1999. Over two decades, some 14,000 works of art have emerged from his energy and creativity. Those artworks are widely known and have been exhibited nationally as well as internationally at prestigious galleries and museums. Wiyanta is a multi-model artist. His mastery of color and form on canvas is matched by his mastery of words in poetry, body movement in dance, and sense of rhythm in music. And a uh, hostess to see a real Balinese village. And that's what this is. This is not a place where tourists usually come. Yeah. This is uh, a real Balinese village. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, he was there for one semester working with the theater department. And um, yeah, I've been trying to get him to come to SMU. I've been working on it. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen sometime. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it. You know, I, I like it. musician. Like dance, like theater, like painting, yeah. like everything. I complete. Uh, I like you. I like so much. And he does everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ring first. Wiyanta said that at first, painting and drawing was not his expertise because he grew up in musical and performing arts environment. He never received formal education in visual arts. Wiyanta was instead trained in music and dance in Sekolah Tinggi Seni Rupa Indonesia. Wiyanta's lack of education in visual art did not deter him from jumping head first into the scene. Wiyanta was introduced to vibrant art when he lived in Belgium and working at an import-export company. And now, Madi Wiyanta has made a name for himself as one of Bali's most inventive and prolific artists. Using everything from paint and fabrics to razor blades, Wiyanta's creativity seems boundless. Made Wiyanta has his own studio and home that was designed by himself. In order to enter the studio, visitors must first climb a flight of grey stone stairs that feels like entering a temple. The space in the studio is accentuated by some of Wiyanta's more recent and daring works of art. The art studio is filled with large windows overlooking a green garden and pond. The purpose of the program is to bring students from our university to explore and learn about the culture of Bali, the music, the dance, uh, the religion, the day-to-day -day life of the people in Bali so that they can um, understand another culture that, and that, that's the main purpose. Yeah. So we have three elements that we're using which is music, dance, photography and we also have a culture class which meets every day which 
my friend Wyan teaches, and um, we collaborate a lot together. And we also take them uh, to performances in Ubud to visit temples to all the um, all the sites, the many cultural sites in Bali. And uh, we're fortunate that Mari Wyante invites us to come to Apuan village to see a traditional Balinese village. How do you like it so far? Well, honestly, I think Bali is a really great place. Uh, I've been kind of studying sort of the gamelan music for a while, and I've been really eager to get over here and see how it is. And the, mu the music's just amazing, seen in person. Like, this is the first time I've been able to see it, like a real performance like this, and it's, it's really amazing. And then also, like just everything else about Bali is great too, like the the landscape, like the the trees and stuff, like the natural beauty of it is just amazing, and the beaches also, and it's got great food, and everyone's really nice, it's great people, and they've just been so um, they've been so welcoming to us when we're visiting their country, and it's, it's just been really great. When asked about the current state of modern art in Bali, Wianta grew contemplative. He said that the modern art and contemporary art scene has stalled because there is not any global art appreciation, there is a lack of literature and a weak infrastructure. So the state of the modern art in Bali is stagnant. Wianta said that he would rather see concentrated effort from not only Bali's local government, but also from the central government in Jakarta to create a supportive infrastructure to encourage the arts.
Jamal. <laughs> and uh, hostess to see a real Balinese village. And that's what this is. This is not a place where tourists usually come. Yeah. This is uh, a real Balinese village. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, he was there for one semester working with the theater department. And um, yeah, I've been trying to get him to come to SMU. I've been working on it. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen sometime. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it. You know, I, I like it. Musician, like dance, like theater, like yeah. painting, like everything. I complete. Uh, I like you. I yeah. like so much. Yeah. And he does everything too. <laughs> yeah. Drink first? Yeah. Start? Okay. Yeah, okay. Grab a plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Coffee? Um, three days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. we've been in Sanur. It's a new one. Give one car. Oh, dear. Close you know, to my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah. 10 minutes from there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. but time is less than Passau. Okay. And, and uh, they want to see it. This thing is the worst. I'm not really a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these dancers. I'm not singing. I'm not singing. I'm not singing. I'm not singing.
So Jamal, could you tell us the reasons, purpose of the program? The purpose of the program is to bring students from our university to explore and learn about the culture of Bali, the music, the dance, uh, the religion, the day-to-day -day life of the people in Bali so that they can um, understand another culture. That, and that, that's the main purpose. Yeah. So we have three elements that we're using, which is music, dance, photography, and we also have a culture class, which meets every day, which my friend Wyan teaches. And um, we collaborate a lot together. And we also take them uh, to performances in Ubud, to visit temples, to all the, um, all the sites, the many cultural sites in Bali. And uh, we're fortunate that Mare Wiyante invites us to come to Apuan village to see a traditional Balinese village. Let us know what you think about Bali. You've been here for almost a week now, and then what have you been doing, and how do you like it so far? Well, honestly, I think Bali is a really great place. Uh, I've been kind of studying sort of the gamelan music for a while, and I've been really eager to get over here and see how it is. And the, mu the music's just amazing, seen in person. Like this is the first time I've been able to see it, like a real performance like this, and it's it's really amazing. And then also, like just everything else about Bali is great too, like the the landscape, like the the trees and stuff, like the natural beauty of it is just amazing, and the beaches also, and it's got great food, and everyone's really nice, it's great people, and they've just been so um, they've been so welcoming to us when we're visiting their country, and it's, it's just been really great. coming and now for the set, set time to up one. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the, the <laughs> Impatient. Impatient. <laughs> There's nothing bad. So as the experience. Yeah, you should feel it, you know. No, feel it. You know. Yeah. Close to me. Like yeah. I love the food. Yes, yes. So the house, you know. Beautiful people, beautiful. Yeah, I'm very happy. The student from certain Methodist University Dallas come to Bali every year. They are from art school and very enthusiastic in exploring my art work and learning Balinese art and culture. I'm hoping that this student and Balinese community will benefit from this experience. Yeah? Oh, that's good.
I'm very happy that students from certain methodos, University Dallas, come to Bali every year. They are from art school and very enthusiastic in exploring my artwork and learning Balinese art and culture. I'm hoping that the student and Balinese community will benefit from this experience. Okay.